you're here. You're at the final step. You are preparing for your bed top. I'm so proud of you. We're going to give you as much preparation as we possibly can. Lean on your bed buddies. Do practice rounds with them. We're here to help you. You said public speaking? Who, me? <laughs> I don't do public speaking. Well, neither had I until I had done my first bed talk with my hands trembling as I read off of a piece of paper. <laughs> this is something that helped me to feel so empowered and it did push my boundaries by saying yes to doing something that makes most professionals feel uncomfortable when they get in front of a stage. Remember, you're going to be around your campmates. These are the people you know or who you've been getting to know that are here to support you while you're supporting your camp. Plus, you've done all of this work and it's just talking about what you did with the tools that you've been given. You got this. You know the material. And we're going to continue to give you more tools so that way you can prepare for the delivery of your bed talk. If you really feel like public speaking is something that you are just not into, that's okay. Ping one of your campmates. Have them watch the program. Go over what you came up with or work on it together so they can give the talk during the camp meeting. One of your theme camp organizers, who's already going to be doing a presentation, can do the talk for you. It's very short. Here's the loose structure on how we suggest you set up your talk. So introduce yourself. Who are you? I'm Momo. I'm the Beducator. What that means is our camp has undergone the Beducator program where we've been collaborating with camp leadership for us to realize the importance of consent within our own camp community. We've gone over why consent is important and why we should be practicing this as a principle. Next, you wanna go into why. When you recorded the camp leads note on why consent is important, get their consent to see if you can use their voices so that way other people have an idea of how you and the camp leads view consent as a baseline of respect within the camp. Go over what is consent. You've defined it through your consent policy, so you foreshadow the behaviors that you want in your camp. We don't leave trash on the ground and we're an ask first community. Everyone can become a consent ambassador and you can teach your campers how they can be good burners by going over briefly the consent enforcement process. Everyone can say, hey, how's it going? Has anyone ever said that before to someone else? I'm sure everyone here has. We use the, hey, how's it going as a way to reduce the bystander effect. If we think that something hinky is going on, we don't assume ill intention, we go over and give a, hey, how's it going? If we need to give a teachable moment, it's the opportunity for change behavior. Part of the Beducator program is knowing who our camp resources are for when we as burners need help. Our camp leads are point them out, point them out, point them out, have them wave their hand. So that way new and old burners know who to go to in case they need assistance. Let them know that camp leads are volunteers. So if things are over the camp's head, you have a bad resource guide. You know the different places like 9, 3, C, 515, 545, and Esplanade. Those are spots that you can go to if your campers are out on the playa and they need assistance or see someone else who does. Be proud of your status. You're getting some bed swag for being educated. We're going to deliver it before your bed talk. So that way, when you do your talk, you can have buttons that you can gift your campers right out the gate. This is a great way to show off how you're proudly educated and they are members of a educated camp. Plus, you give them the warm and fuzzies by practicing the principle of gifting. We also provided a sample bed talk. You don't have to do this word for word. You will have your own copy, just like the forms and the other tools that we've provided. But you can use this word for word, again, highlighting in red, where you would change the wording around. This is approximately seven to 12 minutes, depending on how fast or slow you speak and audience interaction. So you have your bed talk scheduled. Now what? Let bed know that you are a fully educated pink beducator. And we are so freaking proud of you. Thank you so much for having this plan of action, practicing consent within our culture. I personally love that you have taken on this volunteer role so that way you can make change, not just in your camp, but to the community. So thank you for your civic responsibility, participation, and your practice of consent. Let us know by going to this link so we can know how many people are in your camp and know when to deliver your bed swag so you can hand it out during your camp meeting. We don't know about you, but we are going to party in celebration, toast some pink champagne for all of the work you've done and being a Beducated camp. We're inviting you to get in bed with us to our Think Pink Beducator meet and greet. We will have the Gay Olympics as entertainment. It was hilarious last year and there are prizes to be won. 
come wearing your best pink outfit and we would love to toast some champagne with you and have you meet your bed buddies and other educators across the playa. So we'd love to see you in bed and you are more than welcome to come hang out with us. See you on the playa. Oh.